Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can tell, I'm kind of high up in the air right now. I am standing in our end dump, and I, I'm like super out of breath because I just climbed up here. But I've been toying the idea of building like a water slide out of this thing, and so today we got a big old pile of gravel down there, and I'm about to slide down into it. We're gonna see how it goes. This thing's fully extended right now. You wanna try it? No, oh, these are my good pants. <laughs> and by good pants, I mean my only pair of pants. <laughs> Should get some dish soap on there. I think it's getting steeper. Is that our new CrossFit program? Yeah, come on guys, 20 bucks a month. <laughs> come climb the end dump. This is where we're at. I am, I am pretty high up here right now. So this is a 40 foot trailer and here we go. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Woo! Oh, nice. Beautiful gravel, by the way. Anyhow, we're gonna show you guys what we got going on. Let's get going. All right, so for those of you guys that follow my Instagram, you guys can see we finished our prop last night um, for our video today. We're gonna be testing a couple things. We'll show you guys what they are in just a little bit. But first, for some safety reasons, we had to replace one of these D-rings. Um, this machine was on rent like a couple months back, and my buddy calls me up kind of like, well, James, I uh, uh, he's like beating around the bush. So I instantly get super nervous because I knew he had this machine and he goes, we kind of broke something and I like started freaking out. He goes, we broke one of the D-rings on the front of the bucket and I was like, dude, I was like, that's nothing, don't worry about it. I was afraid like that like tipped over the machine or something. So we replaced these weenie guys with a much larger, more substantial D-ring. Here's that for size comparison. Anyhow, the reason we're gonna need these it's because we're going to be lifting up the front end of this contraption and we're going to drag it out right now and we'll show you guys what we're going to do with it. But first, I'm going to show you guys Roger. He just came up to the shop. This is the next Jackson. He's getting big. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come on, Roger. Yeah. Look at these paws. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well it's pretty close to square, it's not even, we're like 9 inches over here and 5 inches over here, but whatever, it doesn't need to be perfect. But uh, right. if you love the gas it's easier, but we ain't got time for that. yeah nobody cares. to drink lots of milk well done. Yeah, if any guys are new to the channel, I got zinc poisoning like hardcore back when I was building one of my dirt screens. And that sucked. So don't breathe this stuff. We are definitely doing it for the YouTube tonight. It's getting kind of cold out here. Oh, not really, just chilly. But we're trying to find a beam that's like roughly eight feet wide to weld on the end of our sled. You guys will understand in a little bit once we get into the shop. I pulled one out over there. I think this one right here will work. Well, kind of funny looking. Uh, this one will probably work. The one on the outside? Just, just stay there, I'll grab it. I'm just saying, that's a sexy truck. I love it. Cheers. Clink. All right, well this idea came just a couple weeks back. We've been working on it here and there. 
And basically what we're gonna do guys is we are gonna try and tip over the skid steer without like actually tipping it over. So you guys can know at what angle skid steers will tip over. Now there's gonna be a couple variances. Like this machine, it has counterweights on the rear. So if we were successful the first time, um, we're gonna lift it up, see at what angle the front comes up just a little bit. And then we're gonna take off the counterweights, do it again, see if the angle changes. <laughs> Uh, John might be leaving. Then we're gonna throw some weights in here, see how that works. And then if you guys ever want to know at what point a vehicle will tip over, I've got lots of friends with different kinds of cars, and I might be able to get them to throw it on the rack. I think we're gonna call this the bad mammer jammer. In the words of my father-in-law. Anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and do test number one. A lot of planning went into this. We got chains everywhere, so they're like fail safes. At least two nights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of work, guys. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoy. Let's give it a whirl. This is our 926M, in case anybody's wondering. You have your phone? Yeah. You want to take some pictures too? At when? some point. All right. Oh, she's moving. How are the beams looking? They're still straight. Oh, she's tipping. How are the chains looking? Can I go forward? You can go a little. are off all right so only the driver's side tire was off the plate I'm gonna go a little bit higher oh, that's it <laughs> so that's a pretty steep angle all right let's take some measurements got your protractor when it had counterweights it would like you look at it wrong and it would tip over especially if you're loading without a bucket anybody wondering these are the counterweights they're pretty solid real quick and easy to take off Without the counterweights, it should go higher, I'm guessing, because you don't have weight pulling at the back. That's it. A bucket. We, that's what we're gonna do next time. To simulate like a load of dirt. No, before we took the counterweights off. Oh. Okay, so now. Maybe 25. Uh, what were we at last time? 20. 20. Yeah, now we're at like almost 25. Nice. I mean, granted, it's, I don't know, close to, yeah, maybe like 23. But still, that's. That's a couple degrees good. more if you guys really need to squeeze the... <laughs> Alright, let's throw some weight in the front right now. While it's up, or...? No, nah, it's lower. <laughs> Clink! Ah. <laughs> Alright, gonna throw some weights in there real quick. I'll do my part. I'll lift one. 
so big of you. Oh yeah. Oh no, no, no. Don't don't rob me of this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Time for the last test. So, on this one, we've got the counterweights in the bucket, off the rear. So it should get it our highest or largest angle yet. It's going a little quicker now. Tight. So we got to move the loader forward to make sure it doesn't break the chains. Just about to tip. I don't know. If, oh, that's it. Way to shake it. <laughs> Some. Dang, we gained like quite a bit, like five degrees on that one. So, if you guys got to climb a really steep hill, take your counterweights off and go up with a loaded bucket. Now, guys, obviously, we don't condone these actions, but if you're in a pinch, we're I, just saying you gotta keep in mind, too, we got perfect conditions. These plates have like anti slip on them. So, if it is a dirt hill, you gotta be more careful. I don't think you'll get this much grip on the dirt. So, if you've right. got steep hills, get a track loader. That's right. That's <laughs> gonna be the next test, guys. I don't think that'll tip. <laughs> We're gonna put the 259 on here. It's probably gonna go upside down. So, I'm gonna set it back down. All right, guys. Well, we've never made a video like this. Uh, obviously, this was kind of dangerous. So, we highly suggest you guys do not do this at home. Um, we put a lot of thought into this, a lot of safety. For everybody with the 926 in their garage. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, so anyhow, we're going to go ahead and start testing other stuff too. Uh, maybe like a Jeep or I think we're going to throw a track loader on here. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Like I said, I've never made a video like this before. So please do not try this at home. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Uh, this was purely for entertainment. But I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch. As always, if you can do me a huge solid like, subscribe, share with me, goes. We will see you guys next time.